Hello class, how are you doing? In my last video, I had explained to you about the assignments uh, that you have and the assignments are uh, mainly um, arranged in a way that you would follow the RISHAS uh, procedure, uh, starting from finding your topic and then uh, compiling your annotated bibliography and then your proposal and then writing your draft for the research paper and then and then finally your research paper which is you know after you revise it and I will give you a feedback on the research paper and uh, you can click on the assignment and I'd suggest you to uh, go and click the assignment that says research paper draft due by November 8, um, uh, which uh, would uh, be uh, when you have prepared your research paper uh, altogether. Uh, but prior to that, we will uh, follow the procedure, uh, the research process. Uh, so your research uh, topic uh, was due uh, by Monday, which would be October 8 and I was trying to read and I've seen only one submission so far it's in the discussion board please submit your topics as soon as possible so I can give you my feedback and let you know whether you are on the right track or not if you need help in finding topic or understanding the assignment, uh, the research writing assignment, please message me, let me know. If you need certain lessons, I'd be very happy to uh, provide you um, whatever help you need. And uh, now I uh, have uh, uploaded uh, materials for you, which should be very helpful, which will guide you into the process of research writing. This is uh, academic writing class for graduate students. Academic writing means research writing, research for ac academic purposes or for professional purposes. Many of you are uh, business management students, so it might be almost you know, shaped in the form of academic uh, writing which is fine. So you can pick a topic of your choice in your discipline and I will help you and assist you in uh, guiding you into the research process and uh, finally you know you should be able to uh, prepare your research paper. Uh, so last week uh, we uh, I um, um, uploaded um, the links uh, for you that were how to begin your research and how to generate research questions which is basically uh, the uh, center of your writing uh, as argument papers start with thesis research begins with a research question the center of the research would always be the research question. So while you are writing, finding materials, and you are framing your research, all the way until the end uh, of your writing, until you have, re until uh, you are at the point of revising, you should always have the research question in your mind because the whole research paper is a response to your curiosity. So be careful with that and uh, in the discussion board uh, I've asked you that you um, uh, share uh, with the class uh, your topic and the research question um, and that's where we can go to the next step. Our next step would be uh, the annotated bibliography which is you will compile uh, the uh, material, the sources uh, that would be necessary for your research. 
So uh, you will um, go online, you will go to the library website, and you will research and then find the relevant materials, materials that will possibly answer your research question. Uh, arrange them alphabetically, uh, and each of them, you annotate them, which means you're compiling it. Actually, this will be useful for yourself because you will, you might need, or more than uh, um, uh, anything, uh, you, you will need those uh, sources uh, to uh, incorporate them in your research paper. So pick sources very carefully uh, and alphabetically arrange them. Put the source information first and the summary and a brief analysis uh, of the source. And for each of them, I have asked you that you write about 450 words altogether uh, with uh, five sources uh, that you plan to cite or make use of. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to share all those sources uh, among you in class so that your classmates can also benefit from each other's writing, each other's findings. Uh, that uh, assignment will be graded, so please do that. And that assignment is due uh, by uh, October 14, which is next week, Monday, right? So if you need help in finding sources from the library database, then let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to put a lesson like that. Just message me. Or we can also discuss that on Zoom. Uh, I'm actually planning to meet with you all uh, through Zoom that I did uh, earlier um, in the semester. Uh, read the prompt for the paper very well because that prompt will be the one that will uh, help in framing your research paper. Read it very thoroughly. If there is any question in the prompt for the paper, for the um, completed paper, uh, I'll be very uh, much available for you uh, to explain uh, them to you. Uh, you will, uh, what you would want to do is read the prompt for the paper first and then accordingly plan your research paper. Go back to your proposal, read the prompt for the proposal and then for the annotated bibliography and then the topic and research questions. So make sure that they're all aligned and you need to know what exactly you are doing by the end of the semester. That way you will be able to plan uh, well. It's all, it all depends on your planning. This last week, uh, I also put a video on how to develop a good research topic, which is very helpful because your research topic is supposed to be narrow. It will help you in understanding how we can narrow a research topic. You might start with a broad topic, but that needs to be fairly narrowed down uh, so that uh, you can um, You also want to uh, read thoroughly uh, what research methods are, because research, the validity of research, the value of research depends on the quality of sources and the research methods you have adopted. You could adopt uh, a quantitative method or a qualitative method or mixed methods. Your uh, research depends on the research methods and the quality of sources. The credibility of research depends on what kind of method you have chosen uh, to answer the research question. So make sure you have the appropriate research method. 
Research method. There are many types of research methods depending on uh, what you are looking for or what uh, kind of answer you're looking for uh, in your research. Uh, you could uh, choose uh, field-based research methods where you utilize the primary sources or you can use uh, the secondary sources and then write the analysis from the secondary sources, which is what most students do in the humanities. Uh, as you are using the APA, I would be very much supportive of you if you want to use field-based research methods. Field-based research methods would be such as interviews, case studies, or surveys, or observations. Uh, you want to identify uh, your topic first of all and frame a solid, good, workable research question. And then from there, you can decide which way to go. And let me know what research method you are uh, planning to use. For secondary sources, you need to compile sources uh, by exploring them online or using the library website, uh, the academic premiere. You can put the keyword there. And if you find too many sources on your keyboard, you can narrow it down. If you do not find enough sources on your keyboard, um, then you can just broaden your topic a little bit or decide to use uh, primary sources on your own. So the ideas of how to use those sources are um, there in the handouts that I have provided for you. Read the handouts that says Intro to Research Methods, Research Design, and Tips for Writing a Research Paper for Graduate Students. They are very useful and that those are the ones that I posted for you um, last week. This week, I have posted a handout that's actually written by me on what is research. Uh, we need to keep refreshing our mind uh, with the idea of what research actually is uh, and um, follow the correct concept and the path and the procedure in conducting the research. Research is discipline specific very much and research begins with the research question. These are the two most important things and research has to have a methodology or you can have more than one methodology. You can use a mixed methods as well. So read that handout. Actually, I'm planning to put a quiz for you uh, due by next week, uh, Monday or so, uh, which will be based on the handout, that handout, the one that says, what is research? It explains to you what is discipline specific research, how research is discipline specific, and what kind of sources are uh, reliable sources, and how journals are different from other types of publications. When I say journals, I mean scholarly journals. And you should be familiar with the scholarly journals in your area. I also explain in that handout what epistemology is, which is the knowledge of knowledge, how knowledge can be established, because every single uh, idea that you uh, write in your research uh, would, uh, would generate a question as to how do you know, right? You need to provide the source of knowledge. And if the source of knowledge is reliable and credible, your research will be credible. It gives you a, a, the uh, explanation uh, of a primary and secondary sources. What are primary sources? What are secondary sources? And further, it uh, also explains you the difference between existing knowledge 
uh, new knowledge. There is also a video that explains to you about the difference between the existing knowledge and new knowledge. Because research is uh, exploring uh, the frontier of knowledge to find a new knowledge. And the new knowledge would be based on existing knowledge. So if you are confused about this, please watch the video, read my materials. They will explain to you um, about this. And uh, the other uh, topics covered uh, this week are uh, the stance of the writer, how the writer's stance should be, uh, or the re researcher's stance should be indifferent, right? Uh, it should be objective. Uh, and the more objective you are, the less biased you are, let's say, the more reliable your research is likely to be. I've also uploaded uh, the link uh, uh, that will help you in understanding what strategies should be used in graduate writing. Uh, there is uh, one more link that will help you in being precise and concise in your writing, which is more about the art of writing. So uh, please, I have uh, put here uh, due this week again the research topic and the research questions. The quiz four, uh, which I'm going to up upload here, uh, will uh, have a deadline until the next week, Monday. So I'm framing the questions and they'll be ready for you. There is a video uh, that will help you understand uh, the existing knowledge, the difference between existing knowledge and new knowledge, which I've added here along with my video. Uh, it's actually, uh, I downloaded the video uh, from YouTube and then added it to my um, presentation just right here. So please watch that video. Uh, I will have questions uh, drawn from that video as well as from uh, uh, the uh, handout which I wrote for you. The title of the handout is, What is Research? Any questions, please let me know. And please watch the video. Did you know that in college and university, research has a different meaning than it has in high school? In high school, it means information retrieval. You have a research topic, you retrieve information on that topic, you look it up, and then you take that information and you put it in your paper and that's your research. In college and university information retrieval is not research. It's an aspect of research but it's not research. Retrieving information does not make you a researcher. It makes you a retriever. Now don't misunderstand me. There's nothing wrong with retrievers. Some of my best friends are retrievers. But we shouldn't confuse them with researchers, because researchers are a different animal. Let's compare the two. How are retrievers and researchers different? For one thing, retrievers move in a straight line, because retrieving published information is usually pretty straightforward. But researchers don't move in a straight line, because they're trying to answer questions that don't yet have neat and tidy answers. They often face obstacles and have to zigzag or go in circles for a while. They often have to try different approaches because some approaches just don't work. That's why researchers have to be more tenacious than retrievers, more reflective and brooding, and more ambitious. The goal of researchers is to see further than previous researchers were able to see. They do this not by rejecting the work of previous researchers, but by relying on it and building on it. As Isaac Newton famously put it, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. The underlying reason why information retrievers and researchers are different is that information retrievers look up existing knowledge, what we already know, while researchers pursue new knowledge, what we would like to know. That's the key difference. Let's illustrate this. This map shows the territory that an army has control over in an armed conflict. 
the Army's goal is to expand the territory under its control and add new territory. To do that, the soldiers have to be positioned at the front, not in the interior. Research is like that. The goal of research is to take the existing knowledge on a subject and expand it by adding new knowledge. To do that, researchers must work at the frontier of knowledge, trying to answer the questions that confront us at the frontier. What does this have to do with you? When you choose a research paper topic, you can't focus on existing knowledge. You have to choose a question at the frontier of knowledge. That question will be your research topic. That was John Arnshaw. Here's his YouTube link for direct access. Thanks for watching.